Hello GBT1 students, welcome and this is your alphabet video and on this video I'm going to help you pronounce the Greek alphabet, give you a nice little song to be able to memorize it, show you how to use the Greek font on your computer to be able to write in Greek in your papers as each of your papers needs to include one Greek phrase and then also go over the pronunciation of a few words for you. So let's go ahead and start off with the pronunciation of the Greek alphabet. Um, I have uh, this file up here. I will be sending you this file by email and you can look at it on your own computers. But it begins by stating each of the Greek letters and giving them an uppercase and lowercase. And so this is the first letter alpha. You'll notice here that is also spelled out in Greek letters. That's the letter alpha. Each letter has the sound that is actually given in its name. So alpha has an ah sound like a. All right, the next one is Vita. Once again, it's capital Vita, lowercase Vita. I, I should note that I am using what is called modern pronunciation rather than academic. Academic pronunciation says alpha, beta, gamma, delta, epsilon. Modern is alpha, Vita, gamma, delta, epsilon. So this is Vita. Looks like a B, but has a V sound. So it's Vita. The next here is Chama. And I'll have to admit, I've never gotten a true Greek speaker to say I say this correctly. It's a very difficult letter. It's somewhere between a hard and soft G. It's not a chama or a gamma. It's a chama. And so, try to get it right. And, but anyway, it uh, <clears throat> has a soft G sound. Uh, the next letter is Thelta. This is not a D sound. It's a TH sound that we'll be using. Thelta. The next is, looks like an E and sounds like an E, it's Epsilon. The next is a DZ sound, it looks like a Z or a squiggle here, but has a DZ sound, it's Zita, Zita. Then um, the next looks like an H or an N, but it is an E sound, Ita, Ita. And then the next is Theta. This one, if you look at the little O right there, you can see the little tongue making the TH sound. So we say theta. The next is iota. It looks like an I, but it has an E sound. Iota. Then the next is easy. It looks like a K, sounds like a K. Kappa. The next um, looks like a pair of legs and has an L sound. Lamva. Then comes me, and the uppercase looks like an M. The lowercase looks like an M that got turned upside down, but it has an M sound. The letter's name is me. Then comes ni. It has a, uh, um, once again, uppercase looks like an N, and the lowercase looks like a flipped N. So it has an N sound, and it's ni. Next one has a KS sound, xi. The next is, there's two, actually two O's. There's an O micron and an O mega. The little O and the big O. This is the little O. It looks like an O and it sounds like an O. O micron. The next one you might look from science and say that that is pi. Well, we say P. All right, so it is the letter P, just like we say in English, but and it has a P sound. The next one looks like a P, but is actually an R. This is a rho. Okay, it has an R sound. Next is a sigma, and here you have the uppercase, but you have two forms of the lowercase. The first form is for the inside of words, and the second form is for the end of words. And if you want to remember this sound, remember that there is a slide on the top of that one. So a little, little line sliding over there. So just remember that as a sigma. Uh, the next here we have a toff. This one looks like a T and sounds like a T. All right, its name is Toph. The next one looks like a U and sounds like an E. Ypsilon. Ypsilon. The next one looks like a frying pan. And if you see the little frying pan right there, it has an F sound. It's called Phi. Then comes uh, the next one. It looks like an X, but it has a CH sound. It's He. The next is C, this has a PS sound, and the way I remember this one's a little bit odd. I remember, think of it as a pitchfork poking someone and saying C. So, you can remember that one. And the last one is the big O. This is the Omega. All right, and if you remember the verse from Jesus, he says, I am the Alpha and the Omega. 
That's the A and the Z, the beginning and the end. All right, there's also, I want to show you a little summary here. In modern Greek pronunciation, we do have a lot of ways of saying E. This is a summary of those. You have short E's and long E's. Short E's like E and PET, okay? So epsilon is a short E sound, and alpha and iota together also gives a short E sound, E. Coming down here, these are your long E's, um, like in the word ski. So this is an eta, iota, epsilon, and then these three diphthongs all make the E sound as well. So omicron iota is not oi, it's E. Epsilon iota is also E, epsilon iota is also E. And then there's some which I call the crazies. Um, here, this is an... Uh, Diphthong, it's once again two um, vowels that have come together that give you a vowel consonant sound. So it's this is either off or av, and epsilon, epsilon is actually f or ev. Okay, so here you actually get a consonant sound in there along with the vowels, which is a little bit different. All right, so next thing I'm going to do is give you my wonderful Greek alphabet song, and so I hope that you will sing this song with joy over the nations, over Hilltop, over Dale, and make sure that you sing it often and sing it loud so that everyone will know your Greek spirit. So, here it goes. I'll sing it slowly and get faster and faster. Alpha, Vita, Chama, Theta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mini, Xi, Omicron, P, Rho, Sigma, Ta, Phi, Epsilon, Phi, Heap, C, Omega. Now you do a little dooba dooba while you're going back up to the top here. Do dooba dooba dooba, Alpha, Vita, Chama, Theta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mini, C, Omicron, P, Rho, Sigma, Ta, Phi, Epsilon, Phi, Heap, C, Omega. Uh, whoops, there's our omega. ba do ba do ba do ba You get it going faster and faster. Alpha, Vita, Chama, Theta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mini, Xi, Omicron, P, Rho, Sigma, Ta, Phi, Epsilon, Phi, Keep, C, Omega, ba do ba do ba do ba And helps to put a little Elvis lint into it. So something like this. ba do ba do ba do ba Alpha, Vita, Chama, Theta, Epsilon, Zeta, Eta, Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mini, Xi, Omega, Omicron P, Rho, Sigma, Ta, Phi, Epsilon, Phi, Heap, C, Omega. And when you want to finish, you just go, ba do -ba. And that's the Greek alphabet song. So, I hope you love it, folks. All right, next thing you got to do is learn how to type the Greek alphabet. Now, in order to do this, you need to go to uh, my Classical Greek page. And on the Classical Greek page, you will see a link. All right, there's a Classical Greek page. There is a link for the Greek font right here. All right. You click on that Greek font and it downloads to your computer. Then you click on that and um, install it on your computer. All right, now that works for IBM or Macintosh, so it works for everybody. And so you get that Greek font on your computer. And once that's on, you can actually scroll down in this chart that I gave you with the alphabet. And there's a chart that I give you that shows all the letters for the Greek alphabet and the letters on your keyboard to type to do them. So you see my Greek font key chart here. You can see all the letters in English that you need to use, um, and uh, you just use those on your keyboard. There's also accent marks, and these are a little bit different. Um, you notice here, like the accent mark over the A there is actually a bracket. There's forward slash, backslash, tilde, give you a number of the different accent marks over there. And then there's also some of the um, ones with a what's called an Yoda subscript, and those are down here you can see you use the ampersand the asterisk and the plus sign to get those so play around with those what i'll do right now is just show you um, typing the alphabet um, when you what you want to do for class what you need to learn from me is to be able to sing the alphabet and type it at the same time so it goes like this alpha vita chama theta epsilon z to e to Theta, Iota, Kappa, Lambda, Mini, Xi, I'm forgetting that one, uh-oh, <clears throat> Mini, Xi, Omicron, P, Rho, Sigma, Ta, Phi, Epsilon, Phi, Heap, C, Omega, ba do ba do ba do ba and there you got it, all right, so that's how you type the Greek alphabet, and I think I didn't make any mistakes there, I hope I didn't. So uh, once you're able to type the Greek alphabet, then when you need to put those phrases in for your papers from Greek, you'll be able to type those into your papers. All right, 
And so now I want to go over a few words for you, and this quick video will come to an end. Uh, I just want to go over some of the words that I have up here. I've broken them up into syllables so that you can read them easily. The first one that you see here is <clears throat> the name of Achilles. A, he, le, is. Now, in Greek, you always accent one of the syllables, and the accent mark is that little mark right there. That just shows you where you raise your voice. So you don't say Achilles. You say Achilles, okay? You accent that last syllable. Um, <clears throat> so here you have an alpha, that's an ah sound. You have a he and an iota, so that's he, e, he. Then you have a lambda, an epsilon, le, and an epsilon sigma at the end, is. So you put those together, Achilles. All right, I'll let you do the other two by yourself. Um, next one here is um, the word valo. You have a vita. Alpha, lambda, and then lambda, omega. So that gives us vol and lo. Valo. Um, also, that's interesting. This is the word that we get the word ball from, and it simply means to throw. Next is chama, and here you have che, o, me, tria. Okay? Geometria. That's the word for geometry in Greek. It means to measure the earth. The next one is Thelta, and here is a character in the Iliad. This is Diomedes. 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 Next is an interesting word. Um, here you have one of those crazies where you have the two vowels that together create a vowel consonant sound. This is ev. Okay. Also, two hamas together give you an ung. So ev angelion. Okay. Evangelion. Putting the accent on that syllable. This is where we get the word um, the evangelical from, and it simply means the good news. Ev means good. Angelos is an angel, so or messenger. So it's the good message, and that is the gospel. The next is zita. And here, um, this word is zilos. Okay, it's the uh, the word we get uh, zealous from. The next one is ita, and here you have e, do, ni. Now, some of you who have done some Greek before might look at that and wonder why I am not giving the rough accent to that and saying he instead of e. That's one other thing that's different about modern pronunciation. You don't do the rough breathing marks. So it's just idoni, okay? Idoni. And um, this is the word that we get hedonist from, somebody who loves their pleasure. The word idoni simply means pleasure. So a hedonist is somebody who loves pleasure. All right, the next is the word for God, theos. Theos, okay? Um, if you study God, you study theology, okay? Next is a biblical name. This is the name of Jacob, Yaakov, okay, Yaakov. And um, in Greek, oftentimes an iota became a J sound. So uh, like we say, Jacob, it's Yaakov. It's interesting though, in Russian, they still say Yaakov. So it's more similar to the Greek. All right, the next one here, this is a kappa. And here you have kakos, kakos. Uh, means bad, and uh, if you have bad sound, you have cacophony. Next is another biblical name, Lazarus. Lazarus. This is Lazarus uh, from the Bible. And the next is another character from the Iliad, Menelaos. Menelaos. Okay, Menelaus, as we meet in the um, Iliad. Uh, the next is Ni, and this is the name of Nestor. Nis, okay, tor, nis, tor. And here's that sigma there. That sigma has the uh, little slide on the top there. It looks like an O, but look at that slide on the top. That's your, that's your S sound. The next one is xi and xeni, xeni. And this means stranger. And if you have a fear of strangers, you have xenophobia. All right, this is another character from one of our books later this year, Oedipus. And here, there's your E. That diphthong is one of those E diphthongs. And then here, V. And then these two letters together are an O sound. O. So, Oedipus. Oedipus. 
The next um, is P, and here you have P, E, cease. There's the two forms of sigma. They're both S sounds, but this is the one that comes in the middle of words. That's the one for the end of words. P, E, cease uh, simply means things that are made. It's actually the word we get poetry from. So poetry is something of words that is made. The next is ro, and this is a fun word. It's ro, do, vac, ti, los. Ro, though, means red, vactilos is fingered. So, um, and eos is dawn. So, rodo vactilos, eos is rosy fingered dawn, which you are um, getting to read in Homer. It's one of his favorite phrases, rosy fingered dawn. All right, and next we have letter sigma, and this is a fellow we'll be reading later this year, Socrates. Socrates, that's the Greek philosopher Socrates. The next is Toph, and here we have a character from the Bible, Timotheos, Timotheos, Timothy. Um, next is, oh, actually, Timothy's fun, too. You can see uh, the meaning there. Timo is to honor, and then Theos is God, so it's one who honors God. And then the next one is Epsilon. Um, here, Epocrisis. Uh, hypocrisy, uh, hypocrisis, is uh, where we get this word from, hypocrisis. Uh, the next is phi, and this long word here is a nice one. It's philanthropia. Philanthropia. Okay? Philos is to love, anthropos is man. If someone loves man, they tr um, uh, practice philanthropy. So, philanthropia. The next is he. And here, this one is charisma. This is uh, charisma, okay? Somebody who has a liveliness to them is charisma. And here, psi, um, this word is psalmos, psalmos. And this is the word for a song. This is the word that we have in the Bible, psalms, okay? It just means songs. And then we have omecha, and here you have the biblical word Osana. Osana. Okay? Hosanna. And it's actually a Hebrew word that was been put into Greek, and now we give it a Greek pronunciation. So it's a word that's been around the block a little bit. All right. So those are some of the words that I've given there. Please do watch this video until you have that Greek alphabet down and do practice typing the Greek alphabet um, using that Greek font, and you'll be ready. So thanks a bunch for watching. Bye bye, everybody.